This video is about short form adjectives. Музей открыт. Сколько сейчас времени? Девять часов. Нет, закрыт. Музей открывается в десять часов. Почта открыта. Сколько сейчас времени? Семь часов. Нет, закрыта. Почта закрывается в шесть часов. Кафе открыто. Сколько сейчас времени? Десять часов. Нет, закрыто. Кафе открывается в одиннадцать часов. Short form adjectives always come after the verb to be. You notice in our examples here, is the cafe open? No, it is closed. In the present tense, we don't see the verb to be, but it's there. And in the past tense, we would see the verb there. Café буйло открыто. Short form adjectives must agree in gender, a number with the subject. So you notice here we have the subject café, neuter. So we use открыто, закрыто. Почта, here feminine, so открыто, закрыто. Музей, masculine, so открыт, закрыт. Short form adjectives cannot be in cases. And that goes to, stands to reason, because they can only be after the verb to be. But if you need an adjective in a case, you'll need to use the long form, the regular form that we learned last year. Sometimes, short form adjectives imply a temporary state. Not always, but many cases, one of the differences between the long form meaning and the short form meaning is that the short form is temporary, whereas the long form is something permanent. And sometimes they need fill vowels. We'll see examples of all these. After the verb to be. So, вы свободны сегодня? Are you free today? Библиотека открыта. The library is open. Он похож на маму. He resembles his mother. Я должна заниматься. I should do homework. Here's an example where they agree in gender. Вы свободны сегодня? We, plural, so we use the plural. Библиотека открыта. Он похож на маму. Я должна заниматься. Here, again, they can't be in cases. They must just stay nominative because they're next to the verb to be. And they don't have case endings. But here are some where we can tell the difference between this and a long form. So, библиотека открыта. The library is open. Мы читали в открытой библиотеке. We were reading inside the open library. Он очень занят. He's very busy. Versus мы говорили с этим занятым человеком. We were talking with this really busy person. Here, since we need с, an instrumental case, We'll need the long form. And here we have where they will apply a temporary state. Он свободен. He's free right now. He's not busy. Versus он такой свободный человек. He's such an open person. Like maybe like open-minded or flexible. Here's another one. Она очень занята. She's very busy right now or today or something like that. Versus, мы говорили с этим занятым человеком. We were speaking with that busy person. Maybe he or she is busy all the time, has a really difficult job or something like that. We're implying there with the long form that the person is habitually busy. Sometimes they will need fill vowels. You'll, here we see some examples. Svobodjen, masculine, versus svobodna. The ye goes away here, is added back in here. Dolzhen. Должна. Болен. Больна. Интересен. Интересна. Here we have yes. There can be others. Could be yo. Sometimes could be o as well. 